Hi there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. It's uh, Sunday today, and it's a lovely winter's day. The sun's out. It's not warm, but it's just a little bit of sun, at least. <laughs> We're expecting a bit of a, a chilly blast during, during the week, so we'll have a shave now to get ready for it. What we're we using, we're going with Katie's Bubbles, 95 liquid labels, which I think is uh, some sort of cool water based scent. And it reminds me of another soap that I've been using as my kill soap. This one called Into the Mystic which is based on cool water. Yes, it has some similarities to this one. Anyway, we're going with Katie Duck Bubbles today. There's the pour. Nice white, it's quite firm to press down. You can see I, I can make dints, but it's quite a firm soap. And the brush we're using with that, we're going with the Aki 24mm uh, barber pole style brush handle with um, the new knot 24mm set to 53mm loft and this, this knot is similar to the um, AP Shave Sinbad knot so we'll stick that in my mug to get wet And the razor we're going with, we're going back to the, uh, the Yaki Sefer capsule with the hollow handle, brass hollow. Only this time I'll put the uh, Wismet blade in there on its second use and see how we go with that. If it doesn't, sh I'm not happy with the shave, I'll, um, I'll swap to back to the Merca 34C as a backup. We don't know yet, so we'll just see how what happens. Um, the bowl we're using, we're going with the Yaki uh, plastic bowl, black one today. Okay, let's get the pre shave on. There is a bump here, a little ingrown that might get knocked off. Another one over this side. So we're going with the Sovetsito again. Good generous amount. This is a peppermint scented soap. Doesn't have a lot of menthol. Okay, I'll go over there now and produce the leather. Okay, here we have the soap already pressed in there. It was a half level teaspoon measure that I use. And we'll get the brush. A squeeze and a shake as we normally do. A couple of shakes. We'll get started. It's about a medium scent strength. Four, five out of ten. Nice looking lava started there. We'll put a little bit of water in now.
Katie is always gives me a nice rich lava. As you can see, it's building up nicely there. rich leather there, medium to high density. Okay, we're back on producing that lovely leather. Look at that. Wonderful leather. Can't complain about that. And the scent strength. Yes, mid-range, five out of ten. That's what I'm getting. Just re-wet the face. We'll get started. Nice soft knot, this Sinbad knot. Lovely and shiny, I don't know whether you can see that. Why not? Right, got an alum on my fingers. So here we go with the Zephyr today. Now, from last shape, we know we need a Steeper angle. It's not a natural angle for me. So I'm fighting muscle memory at the moment. Oh, 
that slip. Can't do better really than the slipness. Well, you probably could, I suppose, but I don't need it any more slicker than that. Okay, second layer. You don't see a lot of Katie's bubbles in shape today's, but uh, they've been around for quite a while. Um, since about uh, 2013, I believe, so 10 years, they've been making shaving soap. Okay, across the ground. Shaving okay. Very mild razor. So far so good with this Wismac blade. Seems to be a better match so far. Purely Lord. Very nice, very slick. Definitely, man, slipping over the face. I'm going to need some more alum, I think. If we do the last pass. Look at that. When it falls off and droops like that, you know you you got a good leather. Look at that. Beautiful. Huh? Okay, grains to grains, here we go. Getting some feedback, not as much as I was expecting. Doing the job, getting it down.
Now the blade is completely enclosed in the head, so there's no blade overhang to worry about. Like I said, you need about 40, 45 degrees to engage the blade. Yeah, let's have a look. I don't think it's a wee bit. That might be from my CPAP mask. Whoa, nice shape. Well, it's doing a good job. Yeah, the wisdom blade is doing a better job than the Lord blade. So obviously this resin needs something a bit sharper than the mild Lord Blade, at least for me. Okay, we just do some touch-ups, there's some along the neckline there, chin, just a little bit around the moustache. Very stable leather. Look at that. We're on a fourth pass, and yeah, look at that. Beautiful. It's a very nice soap. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Touch-ups. Bit of buffering. It won't be VBS, but I don't always get VBS, and nor do I aim for it. Just get a nice clean shave, and I'm happy. With no weepers and droopers. This is what I aim for. Okay, let's have a look. Any weepers? Can't see any. Good result. Well, we'll just whip around with the Alan and see how we went. It's the last shave with this razor with the Lord Blade, I had a bit of feedback. Uh, where to put it here?
Yeah, still a little bit of feedback around there. Not a lot, not as bad as the last one. A little bit here. Overall, a good shave. Nothing to complain about, really. I think um, it did a lot better with that Wismut blade. Okay, we'll rinse that arm off. So I can do my leather wash. Bumps still there, I think. I don't think I knocked the top of it. Okay, beautiful stuff. There's still more in the bowl. <laughs> That's a wonderful. So I'll put this on and I'll go and have my shower. Well, actually, I clean up my bowl first. I'll go and have my shower. And I'll come back, do the post shave. Alright, I have returned from the shower. And it's a wonderful shave I had. Oh, very nice. I don't see any weepers, there's no irritations that I can feel. So let's get straight into the post shave. One thing I can say is that the lather wash I put on was really nice when I went in the shower. The scent and it's just lovely. I don't know whether it smells like cool water. I don't have any cool water spray at the moment. It's unusual for me. Then we'll go with the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream, which is slowly vanishing. <laughs> this is a eucalyptus menthol type scent in this. Very similar to uh, Parasso Pre Barber. Actually, when this runs out, I'll be using probably Barroso Pre Barber as my balm. Oak shape balm. Some on the elbows. I didn't get, completely get that bit down there. Alright, get on the next shape. Okay, and final ingredient, I'm going with Blue Stratus. It's not a matching scent. It's more of a complimentary scent. And I like it. Hmm, wonderful scent. around in the hair so it stays a bit longer around the chest a bit wonderful what oh, oh, fell over lucky I had the top on already okay uh, that's my show for today thank you all for watching and we'll catch you again on my next shave